the Corps won't like it. But if I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Korra wishes. No! You're not taking him! Sakura, I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. Hey guys, welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Okay, so, um, I think in this episode what I want to get done, if we go to the quests, we have a side quest called A Tribe Apart, which is a level 15 quest we haven't done yet. Uh, it is another uh, Utaru quest. Uh, Utaru Jack seeks to help a squad of Tanakh who are a long way from home, but Tanakh they're dangerous to approach without backup. So we'll go ahead and make that our active quest. And it's 400 meters that way. So, let's head out. Um, I'm sure we could fast travel if we wanted to. Well, we might as well, I suppose. No reason to walk there. I mean, no particular reason. Okay, so the quest is now only 85 meters away. Much better. Alrighty, let's go see what Jax has to say. Outlander, spare a moment, please. What's up, my friend? It's lucky for me that you're here, Outlander. The name's Jax. A squad of Tanakh is holed up in that cave. I think they're in trouble. At least one of them is injured. I'm here to offer help, but with the Tanakh, such an offer might be perceived as an insult, even when help is needed. Will you stand with me? I saw you speak before the chorus, so I know you can be persuasive. And if things get out of hand, I will be stronger with your spirit at my side. I'll do what I can. Hmm, okay. We're gonna go wander into an unknown cave. You there! This camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood, just to parlay. You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. <laughs> so far, so good. It's like, all right, I suppose. Long way from the desert, aren't we? This one was blinded. Boy, nothing gets by you. Looks like your training mission didn't go according to plan. We're here to help. If you want it. How does an Utaro know we're on a training mission? He knew how to request a parlay, too. He's not Utaro. Or Tenax. He must be a veteran. A veteran? I didn't think there were any left. We don't need help from a washed-out farmer. Could have fooled me, judging by the look of things. Sister? It sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let them? What do we got to lose? Okay. Um, tell me about the training mission. You said you're on a training mission? A machine hunt. The final test before a young squad goes on active duty. Everything was going fine. We tracked a claw strider and hit it hard, but it fled into a herd of bristlebacks. One charge right at Corey. He dodged just in time and landed a strike as it passed. I hit an acid canister. The spray was like fire in my eyes. A terrible wound. I should have scouted ahead. Spotted the herd. No. I should have spotted that canister. Veteran? What does it mean to be a veteran? I was born to knock, but offered to Utaru in exchange for tribute. Tribute? 
Back when there was plenty, the Utaru offered yearly gifts of food to the Tanakh to keep peace between them. Over time, this tribute grew into an exchange of people. The Tanakh needed able-bodied youth to fight their clan battles, and the Utaru needed veteran soldiers to train the defenders of Plainsong. I was just such a soldier. Was being the key word. You may yet need my spear, young warrior. Okay. How can we help? What do you need? Supplies. Dried meat, ammunition, weapons, camping equipment. A lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert. Everything we need is at River Watch. A huge cache of war spoils up there, left over from the route. The route. When our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss, made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of River Watch and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there. Ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on the brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? No, but your injuries are. Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some- Fine, come with us. Fine. The three of you, hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna go grab some supplies, apparently. Fair enough. Okay, Sakura. Tell me where we're going. It's a white moss site. Where are we? Okay. Ruins sure. This way. Once we get those supplies, everything will be fine. So you say. What's that supposed to mean? Your brother's condition is. That's not your problem, farmer. So you say. Stop saying that. Hmm. <laughs> like a good... Calm down. We're trying to help. Remember. So you say. So you say. I'm just gathering stuff as we go. We'll have to cut across the river. Avoid the Outlander camp down the road. Trespassers. There are strangers in these lands. Just like you, Eagle. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, what is that? Wide Maw. I hate getting wet. <laughs> Tough as a ravager, this one. I heard that. Okay, right behind you. Here. The entrance should be right under that arch. River watch. Okay. A couple of unknown thingies in here. What are we looking for? Uh oh. Set that machine on fire. Got a burrower. A couple of burrowers. Not that dangerous, I don't think. Shouldn't be. Talk. Machine, I'm going in. No, Aloy's on point. Follow her lead. Yeah, Aloy's on point. Talks. Right. Yeah, I 
can see that. Boy, this bush in my way really makes it easy. Bloody hell. Get the damn bushes out of the way. Okay. Let's see if we can get that. down. You guys are where'd you go. I had that. Give credit where credit is due, young one. Maybe I would have handled it better if I wasn't busy covering you, old man. Mm. Aren't I lucky? Let me show my patch with these later. I guess the farmer hasn't lost all his fighting spirit. Supply should be up there. Right? Taller than I thought. What's a deadly climb to Eagle Squad? What are you trying to say, old man? Enough. I'm a good climber. I'll grab the supplies. Come. Let's see if any of these machines have parts we can strip. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two. What could a farmer possibly know about salvage? Only decades of experience compared to your very brief existence. Yeah. Only decades of existence. Yeah. What he said. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Gotta find a way. Where's my machines? First, we're going to strip my machines. Where'd they go? Did they strip all my machines? Ooh, a moderate supply cash. I like it. Okay, um... Hmm. Okay, well... How do we get up? Rope ladder. Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, okay. There's a way across over there. Hang on, I bet you we gotta go up here. There's my machines. Ooh, and a scrap pile. Hang on, I wanna... Check out the kills. All right, now we're good. Okay, how do we get up there? Ah. Well, caster won't work on that. Yeah, yes it will. It's right there, dude. Come on, Aloy. Work with me here. That worked. Indeed, it did. Valuable's cash. Looks like some kind of basement. Gotta find a way up. Sure, sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. Medicinal bright omen. More medicinal bright omen. Okay. Um. 
We're good here. This looks like a way up. Should be at the top of the tower, but how to get up there? Metal flower. Okay, what else do we have in here? There's fire gleam here, somewhere. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, where's the fire gleam? There it is. It's up there. Okay. All right, we can get that taken care of as well at some point when we get over there. I'm sure that'll be easy. get to that. Huh. I want that. It's a moderate supply cache. Alright, we'll come back to it. Um, oh, there's a crate here. Okay, I'll take this. Thank you. All right, now we got a crate, which I can use. Get up there, I guess. All right, come here, Mr. Crate. Your presence is required. Get in there. I want in there. There's something in there and I want it. Before we head up there. Come on. Can you jump further than... Alright. More supplies? Small cash. Can't be the supplies the core wanted. Better keep looking. I am. I am. Um... Oh. Uh, you know the supplies she wants are the ones that are on top of that tower, I betcha. I betcha, betcha. Generous blood gash. Alrighty, cool. Noise. Is that the supplies she wanted? Loot the war chest. Where's the war chest? That's not it. Where's the core of supplies? It's gotta be a bit there, right? Where's 
What's this war chest? Oh, uh, there's a pullable over there. Ah. One moment, please. I need to go check this out. Where did I see the pullable? Oh. Down there. Vent panel. Uh, hang on. I wasn't really done up here yet. I don't think I was done up here. Okay. It's also not it. Where the hell am I going? Oh crap. How do I get out of here? Hey, Lahoy, can you not grab the... Shoot. Uh, can we glide over? We can, okay. Thank you. Lower that ladder. Just in case I fall off. Um, now what? Eloy, why are you not grabbing the thing? Am I not doing it right? I feel like I am doing it right. Can we grab the thing now, please? Okay, there we go. I'm, I wasn't doing it right. Alright, fine, fair enough. Not bad. This has got to be the place, right? For the love of Pete. And where are you expecting me to go from here? Ugh. Okay. That's gotta be it. Thank you. We'll have this. Superior supply cash. War cash. Okay, we got it. These are the supplies? Won't last them very long. Uh oh. White ball. I can't leave that kid alone for a second. <laughs> Jax and Sakura are in trouble. I gotta catch up to them. Where did they go? I'm coming, you guys. I'm coming. Y'all just hang out. You picked up a white ball, huh? I gotta get in there and take down those machines. Machines cool? Grab this ammo. Didn't want to leave all the fun to us. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, you guys gotta stop. Seriously, what is going on? Dude? What are we stuck on? What are we stuck on? Can we, can we not get stuck on stuff? I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, where'd he go? Stop 
Throwing rocks at me. Okay, rude. Yeah, you didn't like that, did ya? Although you stole my kill, by the way. I totally had that under control. Okay, I'll take all that. Thank you very much. Are there more? It's a dead loot blaster. Where's the other one? There he is. Come here, you. i take you down. My kills. It's done. I better check on Jackson Sakura. I'll grab this now. She's a little kill thief, isn't she? Where'd they go? Just, just a minute, I'm looting. You guys all right? Kill thief. Well fought, Eagle. Though I would have preferred if you hadn't taunted that thing. What did you find? Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. There was supposed to be more. Enough for... It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakh will kill Korra from being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way. But it's still a death sentence. So you were gonna use the extra supplies to live in the wilds? I thought it would be enough to get us started. Can't they stay in Plainsong? Plainsong has too many mouths to feed. The Korras would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can. Dang, that's that's harsh. Return to Eagle Squad. So they were gonna stay out here, so he didn't have to do the thing. They were gonna try to save him. I, I get it. Still, man. Well, okay. Turn to Eagle Squad. It's 200 and some meters that way. All right, let's see if there's anything out here that's worth um, grabbing. Something in here, and I want it. Ugh, holy hell, why is it always stuck behind stuff? No, it's just a medicinal berry, that's fine, I don't need it. I mean, I can grab it, I guess. <laughs> you can't stop me. Alright. Um, cash over here. We certainly got some supplies. I mean, no complaints there. Um, dead burrower. I'm 
fish. Cool. Alrighty. They were feeding me supplies the whole time. I was just completely ignoring them. Okay, let's see where we are. Let's see if there's anything over here that I need to investigate. Um... Yeah. What is that? Okay, let's go check it out. Let's see what it is. As long as we're out here. Relatively close by. I'm gonna go investigate. Well, maybe not, because we're up against a cliff. It's climbable. All right, fair enough. Then we'll climb it. Assuming Aloy will cooperate. Check this to a dire later. Which is not always the case, but we'll see. I don't know if there's more to this quest. I mean, maybe there is. Um, possible. Why am I going through the scrub brush? This usually means you're not supposed to go this way. Get in my way. What is this? Some sort of. Strategic assessment. RC1 reports strategic assessment. Uh, text data point world. Text log data partial. Data corruption partial. January 11th, 2066. Data corrupted. Recon predicts contact with the Wichita salient in 27 hours. Seven Horus units detected in the first wave. Wow. News from the west is just as bad. Last stragglers from Kalmar are in. Losses estimated at 93%. And there's been no further contact from Reno Remnant. RC1 assumes it's been wiped out. So that's it. We're the last days of the last day. I swear to God, sir, I'm no coward, but I'd pack my bags and head for the hills if there were anywhere left to go. Yeah. Oh, that's a metal flower is what that is. Okay, seriously, can you get this crap out of my way? I can't see. There's something back here. Yeah, it's metal flower, all right. <sighs> okay, well, there you go. We discovered what that is. All right, let's head back for the, the squad. What am I hearing? Doesn't look like Sakura supplies. We already got the supplies, Aloy. What are you talking about? Sorry, little bird. I need bird feathers for things, I think. Pigeon. Yeah, useless. Not worth the arrows that I shot at it. for a swim. This is clearly going 
get out here. I still need to use a couple of weapons that we haven't really been able to use up. The explosive tripcaster and the adhesive blast sling, which I have equipped, but I don't. Ha we haven't really used them. We tried to use it that one time, the explosive tripcaster, but they wouldn't go through my trap. Uh, there's a thunder jaw, not too far away. That's not good. Um, 82 meters this way. Okay, sorry. I think we're going the wrong way. I don't think I necessarily want to take on it. A thunder jaw at the moment. Tell them that I failed. Speak the truth. Plain and simple. Aloy, we were just about to head in. So what will you tell them? That we'll have to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life. Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. So, we're all stocked up then? The cache was empty. But we'll be alright without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax, you said Plainsong has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but what about just- I am not leaving my brother behind! He'll be safe in Plainsong. And the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. The chorus won't like it. Screw the chorus. If I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Cora wishes. No! You're not taking him! Sakura. I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong, and no Utaru or Tanakh can stop me. They will be foolish to try. <laughs> I'll stay okay. and help them pack their gear, That's cool. then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. Rare combination. You have my thanks and theirs too, I'm sure. Okay, a tribe part done. Two skill points, 4,125 XP, nice. And a new face point to knock the Vindicator. Cool. Well, very awesome, very awesome, guys. Okay. There's a white moss site, just, oh, there's an unknown here too. Next to the Thunderjaw. <laughs> Maybe we leave that unknown then. I don't want to mess with the Thunderjaw. Seems like a bad idea. Yeah, there he is. Jeez. Okay, guys. Um, We still have some time. There's a few things we could do, but I think what I want to do is head back to the base. And check out what's uh, what's happening there. Careful, guys. There's a Thunderjaw over there. I'm just wandering by. They don't care. Okie dokie, then. Uh, let's see. Where is there a um, campfire here? Alright. Let's go ahead for the campfire. And then we'll fast travel over to the base. Jesus, bloody. Uh, what do you call those things? Won't get much use out of shotgun. Sky drifters everywhere. Oh, boy. <laughs> Claim it's known. That's why we 
Okay, let's go ahead and fast travel over to the base, which is here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's go see what we got at the base. I see you, champion. Sit, please. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. You have a rumor? Well, she does. What you got for me? I hear the rebels want you dead, Outlander. But I know someone who might be willing to teach you some of their fighting techniques. His name is Laroka. He trains the soldiers at Scalding Spear, just west of here. Don't think he'd mind seeing the champion in action. Okay. Maybe I'll pay him a visit if I'm out that way. Thanks. Cool. New melee pit. Well, thanks. You're just a wealth of information, aren't you? Your eyes open out there, soldier. Are you looking to? You have anything interesting? A shock bolt blaster. Oh, we've already got one. We've already got this, so you're not useful. Um. Let's see. I could sell off all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and mark all this. And sell it. Cool. Very good. All right, let's go speak or head into the base, which is, um, I think, this way, right? Where's the base? Uh, <laughs> it's up here. It's like, how do I get into the base again? There it is. I guess that's the way in. Can we climb up there? One hopes. Ah, yeah. Okay, we're heading in. Let's go see what's going on in the base. The base. We have a question mark in here somewhere. I think. This is always so confusing. Oh, there's a question mark in here. What's that all about? There's also this. What is this? Oh, the fabrication terminal, right? Um. Your Karja friend came through. She went to that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. Okay. Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. So... We can... Can't do either one of these because we don't have the the equipment. Plow horns and wide maws. And then a bunch of stuff that I haven't done yet. Okay. Alright, I hear ya. I hear ya. We'll come to it. I'm not gonna do set up jobs for those just yet. Hey uh Zo, how you doing? What are you up to? Aloy, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. You sure you're okay being alone in here? I have Gaia, and learning how to interpret the glyphs of the old ones, it keeps me occupied. Have you gone back to playing song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. <laughs> if they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. Hmm. No. 
For now, I must leave the tribe behind. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, she's got a lot to say. Companions? Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes. The Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids. But Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. Okay. Uh, more companions? So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. <laughs> Past, but reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. It's complicated. Um, tell me about your training. You mentioned you've been teaching yourself how to read? Yes. Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the old ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. Okay. Um, the Zeniths? Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zeniths? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. Yeah. And the Utaru? Oh, goodness. Uh, your neighbors. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. Yeah, I've heard this of this. custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. Yeah, I met one. I believe I've met them already. Yeah, indeed. So, you and the chorus? I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. <laughs> Good for you. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the sun ring. I was helping the healers back then as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. Casualties from the Red Ridge? So this is, yeah. It couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but there weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. 
fighting the Karja? You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on, but we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. Oh my goodness. Okay, Baron Light? You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Okay, it looks like we're finally done back here. Uh, we're done here. She had a lot to I say. To go, but if you need anything, you can contact me through your focus. I'll keep that in mind. All right, thanks, so. though. Take care. I'll see you soon. Um, okay, we still have this unknown. What is this? Door won't open. Guess Gaia hasn't been able to restore access yet. What's this over here? Oh, a stash. Okay. Cool. Um, nothing needs restocking, so... All right, so we got a stash in here. Nice. So I think that's basically it. Unknown. This, uh, what is fire gleam? Okay, let's go to the south. Uh, it disappeared. Forty meters up. This is up near, um, Gaia. Welcome back. Thanks, Gaia. How you doing? What is this? Examine Cyclops console. Gaia? What is this? Yeah, what is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this... Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. I think I can reconnect some of them already. And it seems like there are more out there. Okay, connect the survey drone module. There, let's see what we got. Survey drone, plane song. Okay. Error. Drone feed disconnected. This one. 
What does it do? Kaya, what's going on? Good choice. What am I looking at? Gaia, what am I looking at? What is that? Gaia? What is it? What is the point of this? I'm confused as to what, what the purpose is. Gaia? Hey, Gaia. I'm back. So I see what is on your mind. Um, there's something down here. How long do we have? How long do we have, then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. I already saw this. And if I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. I'm not sure why this was well, white, because we already counts. saw this. Okay. Um, companions. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Well, keep at it. Okay, cool. Um See you later, Gaia. Until next time, Aloy. Okay. That takes care of that. I'm not really sure what the whole Cyclops thing is. Appears to just show a picture. Don't really understand it. Um okay. Let's uh I know we're getting close to time here, prod guys. So I think we've pretty much taken care of the base for right now. Don't appear to be anything else in here. I want to go to the east, uh, which is this way. And we'll head up. The, there's an unknown campfire out here. We'll just grab it. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, very nice. Let's go through our stuff, guys. Um, coils and weaves. We've got plenty of new coils and weaves to go through. Um, we might have to go. I'll go through this off camera and see if there's anything I want to swap out. The rest of my stuff. Resources, we've got a claw strider razor tail. That's new. Uh, the Glinthawk primary nerve is new. That's nice. Okay, that's it. Okay, so skills, we have three skill points. Um, what have we got in Warrior? Uh... Yeah, okay. Deal more damage when energizing a target. I, you know. Machine Master. Splitting Stripe. Um, launch spikes that splits into multiple projectiles in larger areas. Override subroutines. Set a machine to either aggressive or defensive depending on overriding. To aggressive or machine. Hmm. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, machine Elemental Plus. Elemental machines do a little more damage with elemental attacks. Sure, let's do that. I like it. Alright, we'll leave it there for right now. Um, you guys have seen the map. Um, we haven't really made a whole lot of progress to the west, but there's plenty of stuff um, back in here that we were doing. I mean, you know, we've pretty much 
taken care of, I think, most of the quests for the Yotaro. There might be one more. I think what I want to do next time is um, maybe some of these bandit camps that we haven't done yet. There's a couple of bandit camps around, specifically this one. Um, I want to do that. We'll do some of this. We'll do maybe some collecting in the next episode um, before we start thinking about trying to head west. The gauntlet run there. There's a Tolmec. Um, another Tolmec. Closer. Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of generally the plan. There's quite a bit of stuff down here that we haven't looked at. Um, Drowned Hopes, which is there. So yeah, yeah. Um, we'll maybe do the the Rebel Outposts. We'll do some un some collecting. Um, if there's a quest around, there might be a quest around that we can deal with. Um, we'll do it. So yeah, yeah. Things that we can do before we head further west. I think we're getting we're getting close, but we're not quite there yet. So we got a new uh, melee pit. Um. Damn it, I wasn't done with that yet. What's left in the quests? Oh, collectibles. Survey drone module. One of ten. Recover the survey drone modules. Alright. Um, I don't really know what the point of that is, but sure. Alright, notebook. Um, we'll talk about character bios in just a second, because I want to go through those last two that we don't have. Uh, but first, let's do this. We had something in here that showed up. Uh, Cyclops, RCC, text log, data corruption minimal. Text log, data corruption minimal, Aloy. I have compiled available information on the Parametric Situational Climate Observation Placement System, or Cyclops for short, for your perusal. The Regional Control Center was intended to oversee terraforming operations in the area. Cyclops was, also, was included as a failsafe. It consists of a network of 10 drones designed to automatically deploy in the event of a biosphere degradation. The drones would then disperse to various locations in the region, where they would capture footage of the surrounding environments to display on the dome of the control panel, or the control room. It appears that Cyclops drones did in fact deploy successfully, and comparing the facility's logs to data from your focus, it seems this occurred not long after the first appearance of supercell storms and the red blight. However, each drone lost connection with the regional control center shortly thereafter, likely due to environmental interference. If the drones are still in operation, acquiring their data modules and returning them to the console in the control room should restore their connections, allowing you to view their footage. Well, okay, that's nice. Why do I want to view their footage? I really don't understand that quite, actually, still. Uh, we still have two more character bios to go through. Uh, Apollo. Apollo is a Zero Dawn subordinate function that was intended to be responsible for the education and cultural uplift of humanity. During the construction of Zero Dawn in 2065 and 2066, Apollo's software was developed by Alpha Project lead Samina Ibaji. Apollo was supposed to be the last subordinate function to be deployed. After Luthia had birthed a new generation of humans from stored genetic material in its cradle facilities, Apollo was to give them a comprehensive education, including the history of humankind. But Ted Farrow prevented that from happening. To keep future humans from grasping his culpability for the robot plague that destroyed the world, he purged Apollo da the Apollo database and murdered all of Zero Dawn's Alpha Project leads. As a result, a new generation of humans never received knowledge of the past. They were released into the wilds as teens. Left to their own devices, they fragmented into primitive tribes. Stripped of its database, Apollo still exists, but only as an empty shell. When Hades was infected by the mysterious signal that gave it malevolent consciousness, Gaia, Gaia destroyed herself to prevent it from taking over and triggering another extinction. At this time, Apollo, deranged and semi-conscious, fled to a processor somewhere in the world. Yeah, but it doesn't have any data. So what's the point? Okay, Artemis. Artemis is the Zero Dawn subordinate function responsible for the reintroduction and subsequent nurturing of Earth's animal life. During the construction of Zero Dawn in 2065 and 2066, Artemis' software was developed by Alpha Project lead Charles Ronson. It was one of the later subordinate functions to be deployed when Minerva's codebreaking effort successfully deactivated the robots of the Pharaoh Swarm. It was only after Aether and Poseidon had sufficiently purified Earth's skies and seas of toxins, and Demeter had brought back plant life that animals could be reintroduced by a caches of genetic material. For centuries after, Artemis worked through machines built by Hephaestus to nurture and sustain animals throughout the world. When Hades was infected by the mysterious signal that gave it malevolent consciousness, Gaia destroyed herself to prevent it from taking over and triggering another extinction. At this time, Artemis, deranged and semi-conscious, fled to a processor somewhere in the world. 
Okay, we are finally done with all subordinate functions. So that's good. Um, is there something left? Oh, there must be a tutorial in the notebook. Attacking. Weapon classes. What's in here that's new? Bolt blasters! Uh, weapon classes. Bolt blasters are extremely powerful and versatile weapons that can be used at any range. They have their highest rate of fire but cannot tear off machine components. Fully charging the weapon increases the rate of fire. Their large size hinders evasive maneuvers and must be stowed before you can sprint. Unlike most weapons, they must be manually loaded before they can be used, including when switching between ammo types. They are ideal for skilled hunters who wait for the right moment to unleash the, its bolts to destroy enemies. Okay, cool. Special ammo types. Knockdown precision arrows. Knockdown precision arrows deal lower damage than other sh sharp shot bow ammo, but have a greater knockdown power that can stagger and knock down enemies. Once knocked down, enemies are vulnerable to critical strikes and other attacks. Elemental ropes. Special ammo types. Certain rope casters can use shock and, pl and plasma ropes to deal elemental damage while also creating an area of residual damage around its anchor point. These ropes can be used to tie down machines, but at a slower rate than standard binding ropes. Tie down machines will also break free more quickly when they take damage. Okay, cool. Very nice. We are done with the book. Alright, guys, we are done here. Um, let's go ahead and save the game. So we'll do it with manual save. Um, I think you're alright, Aloy. Freak out about the snow. Yes, please. Cool. Alright, I think that saved the game. Alright, y'all, very nice. Uh, well done. We finished another side quest, so we are in good shape. I feel like, um... Yeah, like I said, I think we're gonna do some collecting in the next episode, then after that we should be moving to the west. Um, I think it's about time to get start getting thinking about heading into Tanakh's land. So, yep, we'll get that done. Anyway, we're going to stop here. So, um, yeah, we'll stop here and we'll pick this back up in the next episode. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.